B takes 12 more days than A to finish a piece of work. A and B start this work and A leaves the work 12 days before the work is finished. B completes 60% of the overall work. How long would B have taken to finish the work alone? All right. Now, the first point is B takes 12 more days than A to finish a piece of work. So let us assume that A takes A days. So B will take how many days? A plus 12 days. Right? We will take A plus 12 days because B takes 12 days more than A to finish a piece of work. So A plus 12 will be the number of days taken by B. Now it says A and B start this work, but A leaves the work 12 days before the work is finished. A leaves the work 12 days before the work is finished. Right? A leaves the work 12 days before the work is finished. Now you all know that, you know, total work can be taken as min into capacity. I mean, number of min into number of days. Right? So W, the total work can be taken as, see A, let us assume A has worked for a and B both start the work, right? So A and B both have started. They work for D days. And now at this point, A leaves. And he leaves 12 days before the work is finished. That means the remaining work was finished by B in 12 days. Yes or no? A and B start the work. They have started the work. So A and B are working together. And A leaves the work 12 days before the work is finished. That means let us assume A leaves after D days. So A leaves after D days means what? A and B both have worked for D days. And after that, only B works and because the statement here says that A has left 12 days before the work is finished, it is obvious that in the remaining 12 days, only B had work or B had work for remaining 12 days, for another 12 days. So B worked for D days along with A and after that B worked for 12 days. All right. The next point says B completes 60% of the overall work. B has completed 60% of the overall work. So how long would B have taken to finish the work alone? B has completed 60% of the work. Now, the point to be noted is B has done 60% of the work. B has done 60% of W. Implies A would have done 40%. Yes or no? If B has done 60% of the work, it is obvious that the remaining 40% was done by A. Yes or no? B has done 60%. So obviously A would do the remaining 40%. Right? I hope the points are clear to all of you. Right? Is that clear to all of you? B has done 60% of the work, right? B has done 60% of the, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> B has done 60% of the overall work. So from the total work, B has done 60%. So A will do the remaining 40%. All right. Now, the point is, if B takes A plus 12 days to do the whole work, how much time will B take to do 60% of the work? 60% of A plus 12. Yes or no? B takes... B has done 60% of the work. Now for doing 60% of the work, how much time will B take? B will take 60% of the total time that he usually takes, which is A plus 12. Yes or no? B can do the total work in A plus 12 days. So to do 60% of the work, he will take 60% of A plus 12 days. Similarly, A can do the total work in A days. So to do only 40% of the work, how much time will A take? A will take 40% of A days. A will take 40% of A days. Yes or no? Now we know that in this whole process, B has worked for 12 days more. B has worked for 12 days more than A. Are you able to follow? This point is very, very important. That the work was started by A and B and then A left 12 days before the work got completed. Which means B has worked for 12 days with respect to A. When, when compared with A. So B has worked for 12 days more than A. Now the point is, you know that B has worked for 60% of A plus 12 and A has worked for 40% of A and this point says B has worked for 12 days more than A. So can I say B has worked for 60% of A plus 12 and A has worked for 40% of A but we also know that B has worked for 12 days more than A which means 60% of A plus 12 is equal to 40% of A plus 12. Are you getting it? 60% of A plus 12 equals to 40% of A plus 12. That will give you the answer. Simplify for A. Solve for A. Solve for A and then you will get the required answer. So solve for A what happens? So 60% of A, 60% of A minus 40% of A. So 20% of A equals to 12 minus 60% of 12. 60% of 12 is how much? 60% of 12 is 7.2. Right? 
just simple simplification right 60 percent of a minus 40 percent of a 20 percent of a is 12 minus 60 percent of 12 so one fifth of a equals to how much is this 60 percent of 12 is 7.2 right 60 percent of 12 7.2 12 minus 7.2 is 4.8 4.8 which implies a is equal to 4.8 into 5 how much is 4.8 into 5 24 a is equal to 24. Now, what is he asking us to find out? How long would B have taken to finish the work alone? We know that B alone can finish the work in A plus 12 days. Right? So, A plus 12 is how much? A plus 12 here will be equal to 24 plus 12 because we have got the value of A as 24. So, 36 days. So, we can say B alone can finish the work in 36 days. Similarly, the question says, how long would A have taken to finish the work alone? Answer would be 24. Here itself, we will stop. Because A will take 24 days. But because, because it is about B, you have to add 12 to it. So 24 plus 12, 36 days is the answer.